Welcome back everyone to a new lab in Microsoft Word 2013. Uh, today we will uh, look at how we create a resume, how we create a cover letter. Basically at one point in the future you will need to uh, create a resume and a cover letter. Some of you already did and uh, in order to increase the chance of getting the job you need to be as effective as possible when you create your uh, resume. You need to create the cover letter to address the company or the institute or the business that you are trying to get a job in. And the resume, you state your experience, your uh, academics, and so on. We will take a look at that uh, in more details as we progress in this lab. So to get started with this lab you need to open Word Lab 6 instructions. I already did open the file. I downloaded it and I, I opened it as, as you can see here. We will learn today how to hunt for a job, how to use templates, how to use themes, uh, format printer and how to uh, use the uh, section uh, break. So, to get started with this lab, you need to create a new cover letter from a template. So, I will go to the File tab, and then New, and then uh, do I see cover letter? I don't, so I will type Cover, and then Letter, and then press Enter. It will search in thousands of templates available uh, by uh, Microsoft. I will uh, choose the first one here, which is the black and white one and then I will drag it to the left side of the screen as usual I will go ahead and uh, save this file save it as inside my computer under Microsoft Word Labs and I will call it Word Lab uh, 6 and then click on uh, save so next step is let's read complete the cover letter. You need to uh, state your name. If you are using a public computer, this name will be different, so you need to put your own name, address, zip code, telephone number, and the email. Uh, also, you need to, uh, in this section, put the company that you are trying to find a job in it. For example, if you are looking for a job at Eastman, you need to put the uh, company name, address, and city, uh, street, zip code, and so on. So someone will tell me, I don't know a company that I would like to uh, apply for a job. In this lab, it says here, you need to complete the cover letter based on a job opportunity you found online or in a local newspaper. So this is something that you can do on your own. You need to search for a job of your uh, choice. Right? And then... If you come down here, you need to complete the cover letter, complete this uh, section. Uh, in here, it's telling you that you can change the theme and do that's what we will do in the lab. So you don't have to worry about these three lines here. But in the body of your cover letter, you need to read the description here. Wondering what to include in your cover letter? It is a good idea to include key points about why you are a great fit for the company and the best choice for the specific job of course don't forget to ask for an interview but keep it brief a cover letter should not read like a novel please make sure that you keep that in mind and you put general ideas for example if you have 10 years experience in a hospital you will state that you have 10 years experience if you were uh, uh, on the dean's list you put that in the uh, uh, in the body of the cover letter if you want like if you were in a uh, boy scout for example you state that or girl scout you you make sure that you specify that inside the body of your uh, cover letter as an, uh, as a good starting point to leave first impression with your uh, future employer okay everyone are we ready to move on all right good it says here insert the next page break at the end of the cover letter so you will go to the end control uh, end and then press enter and then go to page layout click on breaks and then next page break that will insert a next page break to verify you go to home and then show hide format you will see here that I have next page uh, break 
right read what we what do we have next it says here create a new basic resume from a template so you go to file and then click on new I need a resume which is the basic resume be careful because there are two basics so you skip the first one and then you choose the uh, second one here double click and then you will get a new document uh, control A inside this new document that has the template and then control C to copy the contents and then minimize it because we will not need it uh, anymore you can even close it if you'd like to and then I will go to my solution file and then I will right click any empty space and then I will go to the paste options and I will choose use destination theme use destination theme keep that in mind if you press control V it will use the default destination theme and then let go uh, please keep in mind you should have one cover letter page one page and then one page for the resume however I have an extra page I will once I remove this extra page I will end up having an issue and that's something that we need to fix together so please everyone make sure that you uh, complete the cover letter as I stated fill in this information you will lose points if you don't uh, state a good strong body section so please take this serious because this is part of your lab and then make sure that you have your name here you don't have to sign it you can sign it uh, when you uh, print it and uh, uh, in an actual job uh, application but for now we are just uh, practicing and learning so going down here I have this resume and this is only one page so in this resume I expect you to do the same thing you need to uh, fill in this information however before I fill in any information I need to remove this blank page look when I remove this blank page I will go to the last page and then press backspace once I pre press backspace look what I end up, ended up having well my resume name is in a page by itself and the resume is down here so keep in mind that this resume is basically a table and we'll uh, discuss dealing with table table rows and columns however if you need to make sure that this resume is in one page look at the ruler here on the left side you click on the edge here and then keep dragging up all right you drag up now you let go look at my page right now in here I see that the name is couldn't like uh, there is no margin above my name so I click here and then go to the edge again and then keep dragging down until I make sure that it is in the right location that looks like a good resume right only one resume in one page and I have a cover letter in a page by itself okay let's read what we have next we already uh, did that complete the resume fill in the blanks so please make sure that you fill in the blanks you put in your education uh, well I have a problem communication that doesn't look good so I told you in a table we have uh, columns and rows so if you go beside communication here and keep moving slowly slowly until you see these arrows here and then click and drag until you stretch and expand the column so the text shows uh, without any uh, wrapping right now it change okay it says here apply the uh, resume theme ion so it change the theme to ion so you go to uh, design here and then click on theme and then it choose ion and that will uh, apply the ion theme uh, to your resume please make sure that you fill in the information in the resume and in the cover letter and then once you are done you will need to uh, save this uh, resume right you need to save the resume save it and upload it uh, to uh, blackboard all right everyone i hope you did learn something new today so uh, again when you apply to a job how many pieces you need to have you need to have a cover letter and you need to have a resume and then make sure that you fill in the information make sure your cover letter is well written the body you have a signature section 
and you have your resume and make sure that you uh, choose a nice looking uh, theme for your uh, document. Thank you everyone and I will see you in future tutorials.